Caller from North Carolina. Caller, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. How are you doing? Good. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I didn't know it would be um, take a tell. That's pretty cool. Um, so how many, um, I'm probably like the only Muslim that is calling the show. Is that correct? Or so far? Say that one more time. Am I like the, am I like the first Muslim to call on the show? Are you the first one to call on the show? No, actually, we're coming to the end of our show. A oh, Muslim? No, no, I'm Are you the about... first Muslim? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Well, then I think you, we, we've <laughs> had many callers to call in, uh, but you're the first person that's identified yourself as a Muslim. So, uh, welcome to the show, Assalamu Alaikum. Waalaikum well, Salam. Hey, um, so I'm a huge uh, Trump supporter, and uh, what Hillary has done on her foreign policy has been, you know, reckless for the Middle East. And I want ISIS to be eliminated as much as you guys do. So um, what should I tell my friends when they say, um, how can you support Trump? It's like a Jew supporting Hitler. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying, you know, Trump is Hitler, but what should I tell those people? Sure. Well, thank you so much for calling and thank you for being a brave American first. And, and, and thank you uh, for just standing up for righteousness. Um, absolutely. Donald Trump is not... Um, attacking the the Islamic faith, uh, th this is a fabrication made up by uh, uh, by the media. Uh, you would believe it or right. not. Um, there's so many Muslim Americans that I've spoken to who support Donald Trump's initiative to um, to not so much ban Muslims because you notice his language have changed. He's not trying to ban right. Muslims, but he is uh, he is saying that I think there should be a temporary hold on countries that have been uh, compromised by uh, destabilized. Yeah, right. Absolutely. And so uh, when mm -hmm. you lay out the facts um, and lay out the information, and that's how you combat um, you know, people who, again, I get asked the same question. How can you support a racist? Uh, you know, when in reality, Donald Trump is not a racist. I lay out as much factual information. Now, you do have to understand some people you just can't help. There are some people who are going to be just angry and they made up their mind and they're not giving any rationalized thinking whatsoever. Those people, you just got to pray for and touch and go and smile and, and not talk about politics with them. But uh, for people who have a, a, a rational, open mind, a rationalized, open mind, and they want to really get into a discussion as a Muslim, why would you support Donald Trump? Uh, there, I right. says Muslims have died. It's more, hard. You have no yeah, idea. But, 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 but say this, yeah. say this, uh, Muslims have died at the hands of ISIS more than right, any other exactly. group in the world. Americans that, yeah. and Westerners have not been touched nowhere. Muslims die every day at the hand of ISIS. And they don't and care. And I don't want those people, you know, coming here. So, exactly. Yeah. And that's the I mean, message. <laughs> Uh, that, that the Muslim America, yeah. this is not about one, uh, you know, m media, mainstream media says, oh, Donald Trump has, has offended the Muslim. No, Donald Trump right. loves Muslims. I know. Um, Donald Trump, he, he would be a president of all faiths. And I'm going to say this here on this broadcast, an attack on one faith is an attack on all faiths. Donald Trump is the, the uh, uh, religious uh, freedom of religious candidate. It's not Hillary Clinton. It's not the Democratic Party. It is Donald Trump who believes I need to make sure I put uh, uh, Supreme Court justices in place that will make mm -hmm. sure religions are being protected. You should also tell your right. friends this, that the Democratic Party under Hillary yeah. Clinton is trying to change uh -huh. the word from freedom of religion to freedom of worship. I need you to get this. Mm. It's so important because freedom of religion says you have a right to pray to Allah in public, in private, wherever you are. You should you have a right but not to, to worship force it onto other people. Absolutely. But right. worship, the change of the word from freedom of religion to freedom of worship, that one change means that you do not have a right. If you change the word from from religion to worship, that means you only you don't have a right to worship in public. You only have a right to worship within the confines of your house of worship. 
your mosque. Mm -hmm. You will only be able to right. worship there. Say that to your other fellow um, brothers and sisters, your other Muslim I'll brothers try, and sisters. It's, it's tough. This it's is tough. facts, though. They're all voting for Hillary Clinton. And, but, yeah, and, and tell tough. them, <laughs> but, but tell them when they're voting for Hillary Clinton, you, you're, you're, you're uh -huh. removing your religious liberties. You, you, you are, you right. are making it more and more difficult for, for you to not pray uh, uh, to Allah in public. Um, but you're only being confined to worship your God in private or in the house of worship. That is not American. That is not American. Right. And Donald Trump does not agree or believe to that. So that alone would make anyone say, you know what, I need to support Donald Trump. But I know it's difficult, just like it's difficult for me. But let me just say, everyone that I've spoken to who has a rational mind, and, that, and it boils down mm -hmm. to, are they willing to listen to you? Lay down the facts and tell them to vote based on right. facts and not feelings or emotions. Vote based off of facts and not feelings or emotions. Donald Trump is not banning Muslims. Donald Trump wants to continue to allow all faiths to worship in freedom without persecution mm -hmm. here in the great states of the United States of America. But Hillary Clinton wants to make it more difficult through um, the Supreme Court, changing our, uh, changing from freedom of religion to freedom of worship. Remember that, freedom of religion to freedom of worship. And that one word change I mean, will make it difficult for you and me and all faiths to worship in public. It's making it more difficult, it's making it more easier for us to be confined right. to our place of worship and not out in public. I mean, I don't know how people can support, you know, Hillary Clinton with her foreign policy, you know, with Libya, you know, she uh, toppled Gaddafi, yep. who had, you know, stuff under control. You Absolutely. know, she supported the war in Iraq. She destabilized pretty much the whole Middle East, and now the refugees are going to Europe. You know, they're costing me him, and I agree. I think these people need to get vetted because they're going to kill people like me. You know, I'm a moderate. I'm not, you know, out there to force Islam on other people, you know? Right. Well, you have a right so, to to worship in freedom without the without ISIS or any other terrorist group uh, trying to destroy you. Right. Again, this is what we need to understand in America. Muslims have died more at the hand of ISIS than any other group. And we have to stop ISIS. And we also don't need to we make do. sure they do Agreed. not come into this country. Thank you so much for being bold. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you for taking so my call. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings to you. Huge fans. Thank you. God bless.